My name is Louis McPherson and the title of my project is To what extent does the, does the number of variables affect the predictability of an outcome? So I've always been interested in football and combining this with maths I found very interesting. I've always been um, interested in s stats, I've always followed stats, questioned why they're the case. So this was perfect for my project and I was able to link maths with this to, to prove several hypotheses. The, the uh, subject of predictability came by looking at finance of football and I found there was a very strong positive correlation between the level of finance and league positions such as clubs such as Man City and RB Leipzig who has strongly been influenced by by financial investors and as a result Manchester City for example are now one of the best teams in Europe. Well my EPQ involved a lot of stats tests such as Spearman's rank, um, Pearson's correlation coefficient and these especially at the start took a long time for me because I, I'm not doing maths A level so I needed to research how to do these myself so at the start this took a long time um, often I came to a lot of dead ends as well so, so I was correlating a lot of a lot of different factors such as TV revenue and league position often these came to no no correlation um, which was frustrating at first um, but I learnt, I learnt to just enjoy the process and expect these dead ends and as I progressed the stats test became more easier as I became more familiar with them. The talk as well I found very tough I, I haven't got a a big experience of speaking in public so I found, I found this very nerve-wracking but I found that a lot of practice at this meant that I was able to to do it how I wanted to but this was this was quite this was quite tough organization has been a big one for me before doing the EPQ and I think maybe now <laughs> I wasn't a very organized person, but I've I've learned techniques um, to self motivate myself because the EPQ isn't compulsory. You don't have to do it. So although you have a supervisor, there's no one really pushing you. So you have to it has to be within yourself. So that I think that's that's going to help me for future projects I might do at university. Also speaking in, in front of an, an audience that helped me. Um, that help that will help me in the future with with various talks I, I will have to do. I would only recommend the EPQ if you have an area that you find interesting. So for me, that was football. That was the that became the main focus of my project, and I think it's pointless doing it just to just to get your grade off at university down. Often that's not even the case. And it has to be on something that you really want to pursue, not necessarily you have a great passion for, but that you find interesting and isn't a great burden for you to research. So for me, although I came to a lot of dead ends, I actually enjoyed the process at the end. And and it wasn't a huge it was it it wasn't it didn't feel like a huge challenge for me. So that has to be something that, that prospective students have to take into account before doing it, I think.